Hello, this will be a presentation of software that I am developing for amateur radio on embedded devices. Currently I'm focusing on the Pluto platform here, but I should be able to support other boards with built-in radios, like this one, and of course Raspberry Pis with all sorts of USB dongles. So I will explain what the software does, what I hope it will do in the future, how it differs from other SDR applications, and why I think it's a smart way to implement SDR nowadays. So I'll start with a demo, and for this I need a better antenna. Here you can see the whole broadcast FM band from 88 to 108 MHz. Now, if you are familiar with the Pluto, you know that it cannot stream 20 MHz of raw samples, at least not at full resolution. This is uh, because this connection here is USB 2 and not USB 3. So all the work is being done on the ARM processor of the Pluto, and the phone is just being used as a user interface. Of course, we want to listen to the radio now. So this station plays classical music, it's a good way to check sound quality. And this one is always loud and saturated, so it's useful for benchmarking too. Now, the nice thing is that we can listen to both stations simultaneously. And more. We can almost listen to the whole FM band, which is completely useless unless you want to stream individual stations to a network, for example. Okay, now this is a more traditional configuration. The Pluto is connected to a laptop as a USB device, but what's interesting is that the interface is exactly the same as on the phone. And the reason for this is that what you are seeing is simply a web page with some JavaScript for the animations and the audio streaming. So the USB connection is actually a network connection. Here is another configuration. This time the Pluto connects to a wired network with a USB to Ethernet adapter. This particular adapter happens to have a built-in USB hub and I use it to run my software automatically from this USB drive. As usual, I can access the same interface and listen to the radio, this time it's running over Wi-Fi. But I could also install this and this on a roof, uh, at the end of 100 meters of uh, Ethernet cable, or maybe some fiber optic, and use everything remotely from uh, pretty much anywhere in the world over an, an IP network. Okay, what you have seen so far was essentially a web SDR. It's easy to set up and you can carry it in your pocket, but in the end it's just an FM radio with a web interface. So here is another demo which goes one step further. The Pluto on the left is transmitting a DVBS beacon, QPSK, at 20 kV. The one on the right is receiving the transport stream. So this was intended as a first step towards some kind of uh, handheld digital amateur TV video conferencing device, but I think it's even more interesting to remove the phone, that is, uh, remove the user interface and consider standalone applications for, for these devices. So these things have a fairly powerful processor, they have plenty of memory, they support USB storage, they can boot unattended, and they can go online, and they are probably more reliable than a PC because the firmware has protections against accidental modifications. 
So you could easily set them up as a network attached radio modems, like a DSL modem or a cable modem with an, with an Ethernet interface. Or you could run a BBS, why not? A good old uh, package radio BBS. Or you could turn them into remote control beacons or into reverse beacons or into ground stations for satellite telemetry. The idea is that uh, all these applications can now be done on uh, embedded processors. Okay, that's enough for today. The next video will be about implementation details, how to install the software, and hopefully new features and demos. Bye!